question number two. What do you believe needs to be done, if anything, in regards to immigration policy and protection of our borders? And we're going to start off first on this question with Bud Burnett. Obviously, the answer is simple. Shut our borders down. Um, like Christy was mentioning, uh, two weeks ago, there was eight people beheaded. I mean, they're following some of the stuff that is radical Islam is doing right now. These gangs that are coming across our borders right now, these guys make the gangs out in California around LA look like Boy Scouts. No offense to the Boy Scouts. Um, I've heard so many politicians say we're going to shut our borders down, blah, blah, blah. I'm just so tired of hearing about it. I think we need to send people to Washington that want to do something. I think we need normal people going to Washington with simple, just common sense. You know, I agree with many of you people in this audience on, on a lot of these issues, a lot of these candidates up here. Um, what I like about this group is I feel like we're pretty much all normal people. That's what Washington, D.C. is lacking. You can ask probably 99% of the people here and they'd all say, shut our borders down. It's simple. Look at tiny Israel. Have you heard of a, a crazy person from uh, one of the Palestinian people getting on a bus, crossing the Israel border, jumping on their buses and blowing anybody up lately? No. They build a fence. They built a wall. They protect their borders. You know, we can put a man on the moon we can surely drill for our own oil. We can surely shut down our borders. I am so fed up with politicians saying one thing and doing another. Uh, before uh, Bush was out of his office, and a friend of mine, Mike Sato, a congressman at night, you know, the Republicans funded a building a fence down there. But Bush, unfortunately, along with some other Democrats, the majority of Democrats, we didn't even do a lot, you know, that we could have done on that wall that was funded. If I go, I am going to. Get, that's going to be one of my top priorities, to get that wall built, the fence built, to secure our border. All right, thank you. All right. Immigration policy and protection of our borders. It's simple. Strong national defense starts right here at home. We've got to shut down the border. We've got to, we've got to build a fence, okay? Uh, this has been talked about for too long. The simple fact is the reason it's not being done is because big business does not want it done, and therefore they are lining the politicians' pockets so that they don't do it. That's a fact. We have to throw these folks out. We have to get some honest, good, good, good people in there. They're not going to line their pockets. They're not going to be bought. They're not going to be paid for. And they're going to do what 89%, 89% of the American people want. Okay? When our founding fathers, when my great grandpa came over to this country, he assimilated into this culture. He became an American. Teddy Roosevelt had a great speech back in 1901. 1904, 1907. And he laid out, when you come over to this country, you become an American. If you're anything other than an American, then you're not an American. If you're a hyphenated American, you're not an American. You come over to this country, you speak our language, and you assimilate into our culture. You want to fly, fly your flag from your native country? Go back to that native country. Okay? We are a country, we are a nation of immigrants, and we welcome you with open arms, but you're going to come through the front door, or you're going to go home. There's no, there's no question about that, okay, folks, we got to do that. Uh, this country means too much to all of us, we work too hard for it, and our entitlements aren't just there to give out to everybody. So strong national defense starts right here at home, we've got to build this border, and we've got to start being loud about this, because folks, the fact is, Amnesty is coming. All right. Thank you, Steve. Immigration policy and protection of our borders, John Lee Smith. Well, you're going to hear a lot of the same stories as we go along here, but one of the things that is really apparent to me is that common sense is not that common right now in Washington, D.C. So things that you and all, that all of us would kind of agree on, that's not what's happening now. And you just kind of alluded to that, Steve, that right now we're talking about amnesty. And you remember when President Obama was talking about the health care issue, Obamacare? And he said that he wasn't going to have any illegal aliens a part of this bill. That one congressman called him a liar. Remember that? Yes. Well, we all know that President Obama is not very trustworthy. Is that fair to say? Okay. I mean, I, I don't have a lot of confidence in the man. 
But what we're seeing now is what we learned after that, that he really has intentions of granting amnesty to illegal aliens. So he really is, he was telling the truth. It just in a deceitful way, which is pretty much the way this man seems to operate. But that's why we're all here tonight. That's why I'm here tonight, is because we need to take common sense ideas back to Washington, D.C. There was an article uh, this past week about, uh, I don't remember what country it was, but uh, some terrorists that were penetrating through the border in, uh, uh, down in Texas through Mexico. And I thought a long time ago, if I'm, if I'm a guy that's uh, trying to conduct terrorist activities in the United States, you got a great big white border down there, you can come through anytime you want, just almost at will, across, back and forth across the border. And that didn't even talk about Canada. But uh, and it's already been said tonight that we have to protect our borders, we have to make sure that we keep them safe. And history will tell us that there have been a two different occasions, maybe three, where presidents have actually expelled illegal immigrants. Do you know that? And actually just sent them back home. And the reason they did it was because they got times of economic despair, financial recession like we're in today, there weren't enough jobs, so they packed them up and sent them home. And if we continue to see this happen, we're going to have to see something like that happen again today. I'm John Lee Smith.